Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man, Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now today it's about the latest tech. Once again, I have the Redmi K20 Pro here on my left hand side with a whopping 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, paired with an incredible Snapdragon 855 processing chip. Now this phone recently outdid the Xiaomi Mi 9, dethroning it and taking first place, being the number one fastest phone on my channel thus far. Then on the right hand side we have the Lenovo Z6 Pro with exact same specs, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and a whopping Snapdragon 855 processing chip as well. This is also a really fast phone and on both sides of either devices I have gone ahead into the developer options and turned off all of the animations as well and I've also decided to slap the covers on both of these devices since they do not fit flat on the table with those camera bumps just to keep things nice level and sturdy so that my little fingers can get to the icons at the same time. I'll also be using my trendy little GoPro Hero 5 so that we can get things as even as possible and without further ado guys let's go. Okay guys so if you keep an eye on both Left and right hand side, we have the K20 Pro on the left and the Z5, Z6 Pro on my right hand side. I have put round zero, round one and round two. Round zero starts with a boot test over here. And then we will be doing uh, opening up the phone to see which icons refresh first. So the first point there goes to the Redmi K20 Pro since it's booted quite quickly. But look at the Lenovo, not too far behind here guys. And what I was saying earlier is that now we're gonna jump into the device itself and see which loads the icons quicker. And if you keep an eye at the bottom over there, you can see Lenovo Z6 Pro there takes a point in round zero as well. Now we're going to go ahead and test out the under display fingerprint sensors of both of these phones and they are both optical readers as well guys. So we go ahead turn on the screens of the phones and the K20 Pro took it there but I did not allocate a point because we're going to do based out of three here and going in the second time over here let's see which one takes it. Redmi K20 Pro gets the under display fingerprint challenge once again and third time just to make sure let's go ahead and test it out here. Redmi K20 Pro again three out of three that very rarely happens here on my channel when I do do a fingerprint test over here. Now going ahead and testing out the facial recognition, the Redmi K20 Pro does have a pop-up mechanism. So what I do do is that I slide first and then place my face in front of both devices so that they could both pick it up at the same time. Of course, if you were to just use it straight as a regular speed test, it would indeed be the Lenovo Z6 Pro, but just testing out a raw speed of the lens once they're both up, the Redmi K20 takes it for sure, getting three points in round zero. Now in round one, we're gonna go from camera to PUBG and round two PUBG back to camera, and we're gonna start with camera over there. So you'll see the points changing in round one. Now the Redmi K20 Pro also opened camera quicker, and it flipped around the camera quicker as well, even though it has a pop-up cam. It also took the snap quicker as well. And just to let you guys know that I have indeed gone ahead and slowed these clips down insanely and checked once, twice, three times to make sure which is actually coming out on top. And Lenovo got their first point there in round one as well. Now, I know that you guys have complained a bit that I have been speaking a little bit too fast in these tests. So to make that a little bit better for you guys, I will not be commentating on every single app here. So just keep an eye on, on each round as well. Now on Astral VPN over here, the Lenovo got its second point though the Redmi K20 Pro pulled it off there when it had to turn it on, making a huge difference over there. But fortunately for Lenovo, they grabbed a third point over there when opening up Facebook. Now going into Instagram, you could clearly see the K20 Pro took the crown over there. And then opening up Twitter, it did the same thing again. Now, this is a bit more of a difference over here than what we saw with the Xiaomi Mi 9 and the K20 Pro. Things were pretty similar. Uh, but if you take a look at these two phones, they are very different and I didn't expect such big differences. I guess the biggest thing here is the optimization that Xiaomi has going for itself. Uh, they do optimize their software really well and you could see by the rounds over here, but you can see that the Z6 Pro is slowly catching up and exporting a picture here in Photoshop was going a little bit quicker on the Z6 Pro that time. Bringing it up to eight points on Adobe Premiere Clip over here, saving something to gallery. Let's see what it can do with this as well. So saving a clip, exporting a clip. Unfortunately, the K20 Pro took it. Actually, not unfortunately here. It deserves every single point it has got. It is ridiculously fast and it got another point there too. Almost double the points as the Z6 Pro. And opening up our first game over here, guys, we running in Subway Surfers. And there we go, double, oh, almost double. It's a tie, guys. So we have 
16 points on the K20 Pro and 9 points on the Lenovo Z6 Pro. Now opening up our next game over here, we have Flip Diving. Opening that up, the Redmi K20 Pro took it again. Now it is sitting at 8 points in front of the Lenovo Z6 Pro in round 1, which is quite substantial if you have to ask me guys. In round 0, it wasn't too bad, but there we go, K20 Pro again in the first Angry Birds game. I don't know why it is going so much faster, but like I said guys, Xiaomi software does do great things, but Lenovo does have its, has its perks too. You'll see a little bit later on what I'm talking about when we go on to round 2. So now you can see that over here the Lenovo Z6 Pro actually opened Temple Run 2 up slightly quicker, putting it in double digits in round 1. Thank goodness for that. I was hoping that it would hit that double digit mark. And our last game over here, which is PUBG, which I'm sure most of you guys know, is one of the most graphically intense games that you can play on any smartphone, smartphone device. And on either of these two beasts, you will have no worries. You'll be lag free. You'll be able to play incredible battle royale games on these phones without any issues whatsoever, guys. If you want to game on these phones, then pick one of them up. It doesn't matter what you go for. But over there, the Lenovo Z6 Pro, actually grab that point putting it at 11 points only seven points behind the k20 pro which got 18 points in round one now we're going from round in round two opening up pubg over there the k20 pro took it and you're gonna hear this quite repetitively over here k20 pro again in temple run 2 k20 pro again in angry birds k20 pro again in flip diving and k20 pro again with another game our last game which is subway surfers now it's a tire when we go into chrome and the k20 pro takes it with adobe clip and then opening up photoshop the k20 pro takes it again with netflix as well and it grows and takes it again with youtube Opening up Twitter though, interestingly enough, the Lenovo Z6 Pro kept it open and Xiaomi's terrible software in this department, which kills all the apps, even though I have absolutely turned off all of the app battery saver modes in all the settings on both devices, Xiaomi tend to kill apps more often. Now going into Astral, Lenovo opened it up quicker, but the K20 Pro turned it off quicker. So now going into settings, this is where the Z6 Pro is doing really well. It is opening all the beginning apps because its RAM management is better here guys. That is one thing that the Z6 Pro does indeed have going for it. And right at the end here, the Z6 Pro also opens up the camera quicker as well. It did fabulously well at the end there guys, but the K20 Pro munched it up throughout the entire test in round one and round two, but at least the gap was not so huge in round two as opposed to round one and round zero. Nevertheless, we have a total score of 34 points for the K20 Pro and 21 points for the Lenovo Z6 Pro. So the gap is pretty similar to what you saw with the K20 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi 9, but guys, I must say the K20 Pro absolutely dominated here. Regardless of which device you pick up, you're gonna get one damn fast phone. And until next time, guys, this is Technic.